Good afternoon, Bobcats, and welcome to BBTV, your home for Buffett News. Today is Monday, March 19th, 2018. My name is Mariah, bringing you the news that matters. As always, let's begin with the daily announcements. Students, now is the time to think about robotics. Currently, robotics applications are available in the office or in, B or in room B224. Applications need will need to be completed and turned in by Monday, April 16th. Any questions, please see Ms. Lopez. Fangirls, the open door mission meeting will be this Saturday in the 24th from 10.30 to 12.30. Remember to wear a fangirl or a buffet shirt and bring a friend or family member as well. We will not meet on the 23rd. See Ms. Packard for questions. That's it for the daily announcements today, Bobcats. Now let's head over to Desiree and Ellie for two quick news stories on the local fundraiser and an exciting guest in our building. Normally people head to the mall to go shopping, but that wasn't the case recently. An event walk and roll for disabilities raised $44,000 for the Monroe Meyer Institute. This event took place in the Oakview Mall where parents, students, and teachers all dressed up as their favorite Star Wars characters to raise money. This year, they were, there were over 400 individuals who attended this special event. Spokeswoman for all the organization, Mary McHale, said all the money that was raised to help clients for the Institute can enjoy social opportunities. Some of those opportunities include cooking classes, dance and swimming lessons, plus many more. On Friday, Bobcats had a very special guest in the building. Mrs. Campbell hosted author Angela Cervantes in the library. Students in Ms. Kranz, Mrs. Smolik, Mrs. Tuttle, Mrs. Eubanks, Ms. Little, and Mrs. Miller's classes all were able to sit down and listen to, and listen to her presentation. Cervantes is best known for her junior novelization of the movie Coco that all students were able to read in their reading classes. The author talked about many things, including her path to becoming an author and tips for student writers. Channel my energy into trips. If you have friends over for dinner, I can shake their hands and roll over the hood. My only dislikes are... Hey Bobcats, this is your sports anchor Diamond, getting you caught up with all the big things happening in the world of sports. Thanks for joining me in the sports zone. Since we are, we're in March, it seems it means the tournament season, and that means March Madness. We went around to Bobcats in different grades to find out what they are rooting for. Check it out. Um, I want Nebraska to win, and I know it probably isn't going to happen, but it's just cool to see them like such a high seed in this tournament since it hasn't been that for a really long time. Well, I would love to see Creighton, the Creighton Blue Jays win March Madness, um, but I have a feeling that's probably not going to happen, so I'm going to pick any team from the Big East, whether it be Xavier, Villanova, which I think would have a better chance. Um, anyone but Duke. Duke because they've been winning for like all the time. <laughs> Oh my, Duke, I hate Duke. I can't believe you like Duke. Oh my God, I can't. <laughs> March Madness games have been going on for over a week. But did you know, what, did you know that there are games being held right here in Omaha? This Friday, the first round of, for the Midwest region will be held in the CenturyLink Center. Then on Sunday, round two of the Midwest Regional will be held. If you want to attend these games, accept, accept ticket prices to be high, they, as they will be starting from $160. That's all the time we have in the sports zone today, Bobcats. Now over to the entertainment corner with Brigitte. Good afternoon, Bobcats. This is Brigitte bringing you coverage for everything important to you and your free time. Welcome to the Entertainment Corner. Today we are going to be checking out the world of memes. The cartoon SpongeBob SquarePants has given us a lot of laughs. Recently, Patrick has found himself in a spotlight with a brand new meme called Evil Patrick. 
This is a picture of Patrick with, from one of the SpongeBob episodes that has many different interpretations across the internet. Check out some of our favorites. But most of all, I'm... Hey, settle down. I'm... Take it easy. I'm... What the scallop? I'm a goofy goober! You're a goofy goober! We're all goofy goobers! Goofy goofy goober goober! Put your toys away! It looks like the wheel has landed on going viral. This means that we'll be looking at something online that has recently since exploded. On YouTube, there is a very popular channel with nearly 1.8 million subscribers called the Hydraulic Press Channel. Recently, the creators have uploaded a video of their machine splitting 10 decks of playing cards in half. That may sound boring, but the video is pretty impressive and has already had over 700,000 views in only five days. Check it out. That's going to do it for our broadcast today, Bobcats. For more info on many of the stories you've heard and to see what we're working on in future episodes, be sure to follow our Twitter page at BuffettBBTV. Signing off, this has been Mariah. Have a terrific day, Bobcats.